need to reverse the decision that has been made and put those positions back in building and housing, put those positions back into public safety. To City Hall now, the mayor of Cleveland has been in the hot seat, you could say, today, defending his proposed budget from this, for the city. We went to the hearing, and public safety dominated much of that conversation. I feel like that we are waving the white flag. I, I truly do. Council members have been sitting on the numbers for almost three weeks. I couldn't disagree more with you on that point. A 400-plus page proposal of the city's $2 billion total budget that includes cutting 148 vacant police positions. The elephant in the room is uh, police budget staffing and making sure that we don't lose our aspirational goal. One council member after another expressed concern about public safety and traffic enforcement. I want to refute the notion that there haven't been applicants. Councilman Charles Slife said there were more than 900 applicants at the Cleveland Police Department in 2022, but that pool produced only 11 cadets. Not for lack of interest, but lack of information. This council, I don't think, fully understands why Cincinnati is able to put on a 50-person cadet class, but Cleveland isn't. There's nothing in your comments that I don't agree with. I want more transparency on uh, why certain folks aren't getting hired. Mayor Justin Bibb said he believed their recent investments in pay increases, bonuses, and a marketing firm would pay off and would be apparent in the next class of police cadets. So what I'm not going to do is have imaginary math while, while not having the investments we need to fix our near-term staffing challenges inside the division of police. Mayor Bibb's proposed budget includes money for 1,350 police officers in 2024. That's about 180 more than where the department is right now with its officers. And Mayor Bibb said he believed we could get closer to hiring that number in this new year. And it was interesting, you know, as each council member came up and was expressing some concern. And some of them, you know, didn't focus on public safety or some other items. Uh, but one, one in particular actually talked about a recent experience he had just this weekend where there was a shooting right outside his home. Wow and his window is blown out. So we'll, we'll hear actually from him coming up at five. Also interesting to see the numbers in Cincinnati as opposed to Cleveland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you talk about 50 cadets who are graduating in Cincinnati, 11 in Cleveland, and they're saying, okay, we are a big city too. Why is that happening? Right. So he even brought up Toledo, in fact, and said Toledo actually pays less than we do, and they had a larger class. Interesting. Yeah, and so um, the, the city, the mayor's office, they're, they're optimistic that this year the class of cadets will be much bigger. All right, we shall see. Yeah.